In your work, you talk a lot about the challenges of our modern agriculture and why it's producing food that's devoid of these things, both for humans and for animals. And particularly in animal husbandry, the mono diets, the feedlot diets that are, are providing adequate calories, but not enough nutrients and not enough certainly phytonutrients has a dramatic impact on the quality of the meat. And in your work, you talk a lot about the challenges of the research we have on meat. And there's a lot of studies that show that meat is potentially harmful, that it may increase risk of heart disease, cancer, and diabetes, and death. And yet, and there's other studies that may not corroborate with that. So there's a lot of mixed research. But all those studies are not on grass-fed animals, and they're certainly not on grass-fed animals eating a diverse array of plants. So it's not just grass-fed or not grass-fed. If they eat one kind of grass, it's not great. But if they eat multiple kinds of grass or multiple kinds of plants, then it has a different effect on them. So can you talk a little bit about the challenges of this current form of agriculture and the implications for our health and for the animal health and, and what we're eating in terms of uh, animal products in this, this day and age that are, are not necessarily providing these compounds? Yeah, everything you said, absolutely spot on related to that. And um, let, me, let me go back and pick up on um, some of the, the ideas that, that you're developing here, um, starting with this whole idea of how we've simplified our diets, uh, made them virtually, as you say, highly processed, devoid of all these rich arrays of compounds, and how we did that very same thing uh, in, with the animals in our care. 